Well, I'm about to die because it took 80 gold to hit one Ari, a unit that I set up for the entire game and also had a 40 gold lead on the entire lobby for. I'm dead here, but is it a fifth? Fourth! I rolled 90 gold for one Ari, and it's still a fourth. Unbelievable. That really shows how broken that build is. Hmm. I think my game is bugged. It keeps on, uh... Oh, no, we're good. It changed. My frame rate keeps changing. When you have your... Wait, it keeps changing to uncapped at the beginning, but it changed back. You can tell because when you move back and forth, your character, like, jitters. If your character is jittering, it means your frame rate's too high. But it looks like it fixed itself. Uh... Okay, bow makes me think of heart steel or disco. In the event that I get six gold, I will sell Yasuo, Yasuo, Olaf, Annie. Giant Slayer. Makes me think of Aphelios. Titans. Oh shit, now I wish I had that Yasuo. Um, these are all pretty good in different situations. So it can't be AFK because I don't have a headliner and I don't have Econ. It's unfortunately pretty bad here. Uh, it could be Spoils of War if I think I can get something strong and start winning the game, but... I, I definitely like Spoils of War more than I like Blood Money, but what are the odds I can get a, a strong board right now? Pretty low, I think. I think I go Blood Money. Let me think about this. So, you're probably not playing any rule from here. Actually, I'd like to hold on to it for a couple more rounds. Uh, hold on to these two. Alright, this is going to be one of those games where I just kind of lose streak for a little bit. Maybe after three losses, I find a direction. I go for it. Uh, okay. I would actually hold the disco angle if, I, if it weren't contested. This guy is probably not forcing... Wait, he has five Namis? Wait, no, he has seven Namis. Oh, he's actually going to force it. And this guy also has... Okay, definitely not Disco Angle anymore. Uh, I'm going to hang on to the Heart Steals. Yeah, I think this is fine. For items, it's a bit awkward. Uh... Actually, funny enough, it looks like a Jax game in terms of itemization. All right, I have the Edge of Night already. And then a Titans. Or fuck it, get a spell. Oh my god, I, I forgot I was gonna get three gold. I just wasted a. Ah! God damn it. Oh wow, a two star Aphelios. Um. Okay, I'm pretty sure I get three gold here. Wait, I might actually be down to int this round. Yeah, I'm gonna int this round so that I take uh, eight damage. Because if I take 8 damage, then I get 3 gold, and then I make Econ. <laughs> That's so troll, but it, I feel like it kind of works. Okay, I'm not a fan of this start, but like, there is some potential. Especially if I get a spat. If I get a spat, the game instantly uh, turns into my favor. Alright, well, here's 8 damage, which is 3 gold. Wait, 7? Seven. 7? Wait, did, when did they change that? I thought a 5 unit loss was plus 1 HP. Oh my god, my econ threshold! Alright, spat on carousel. Spat on carousel, I actually win the game. Dang it. Um, probably just glove. I wonder if it was ever just heart steal. Maybe it was that set. Let me think. What would I have made my items? Sunfire Giant Slayer? Pretty bad. 
But maybe I should have taken it if I was going to go for a loose streak. No, you know what? I'll just hit a set anyway. I did not hit a set anyway. Okay. Uh, well. I know what I'm going to do from this point onwards. I'm going to just... Wait. I lose this, right? Okay. I'm going to just int it all the way down and then do exactly what I did last game. I'm going to just, like, be first in line to whatever build I want, and I hope that I hit. Maybe I kill one. Yeah, I killed one. Sheesh! Okay, 30 gold. Not bad. Oh, 39 Dreamhaven. Three star Aphilios. Anyone know if that's good? I don't think it's good. Wait, I, I could hold it. It'd be funny. Nah, I, I don't I don't believe it's good either. Okay, I, I need to int this round. Oh fuck, this guy is also inting. Okay, who inted harder? I have the Sentinel synergy, but he has frontline backline. Oh fuck. Please tell me I inted harder. Oh no. Oh no, Cassante ones are too strong. Damn, I actually got out inted. No. Okay, think Albert. What are you gonna do from this point? Cause you just lost like maybe 15 gold. How are you gonna wiggle your way out of this one? Damn, I really thought my board was hella weak, but I guess Cassante is just a very strong level one unit. Considering that this guy also was down to int, he found weaker units. That really sucks for me. All right, I will have my revenge. Write that name down, Phoenix AA. He's going down. Let's see what direction the items give me. Here's a Senna. Okay. Uh, I.e. Giant Slayer. Pretty good items for Aphelios. Alright, I'm gonna level up roll one time, get a playable headliner. Um, I need to just take this. This is really rough. I'm not that rich. I'm not that strong either, and I got inted. I need to like, find something. This duplicator makes me want to play some sort of reroll build, but my items don't really fit it. Not a fan of combat caster. Rich get richer again. Oh, if I slowed my loose streak, it could have been last stand, but I don't think it's last stand anymore. You have my bow is not very good here. Uh, it's probably just a big grab bag, make some items. Wait, hold up. Fuck, I want to play Jack's rule so bad. I actually feel like I could do it here, but... Uh, not with these items. It's like too much of a pivot. Even, even with or a forger, it's too much of a pivot. But like, I have two Jaxes, I'm first in line, uh, I have a dupe, I just have to find three more Jaxes and the Headliner. It's actually like, very simple, but I just want the items for it. I need to just play like, Ezreal or something. My spot's actually like, okay. Giant Slayer, i.e. it's just like, uh, get a blue buff, play Ezreal or Jin, or get any item for Caitlyn. The Jazzler. Okay, funny enough, I actually have basically a three-star Aphelios right here. Yeah, I basically have a three-star right now. The question is, is it even good? Like, I, I don't, I don't feel like it is. 
Hello, hype player. Welcome. But if the game hands it to you basically without rolling, I feel like you're supposed to take it. Surely it's at least decent, and then you just like play Heart Steel uh, and Rapid Fire the whole way through. Okay. I don't think I'm playing true damage, so I can sell the cannon. I feel like I should sell one Aphelios here, but I like randomly want to believe, you know? Uh, what do I want here? I don't have any components right now, so I guess just set up for our last item here. I think it's a tier. Oh, okay, it's gone. Um, I think I would take the Caitlyn just to have a Caitlyn. Yeah. I do have a Reforger. Okay, surprisingly not bad after what happened on 2-5. Do you want to sell your headliner? No, mostly because I don't want to roll too deep. And th this Pantheon's decent, right? He gives me one free roll every round, oh, half roll, so I can just like slowly start improving my board. And then he is a good frontliner. It it's stronger than you think. There are better headliners out there, but I don't want to risk it. Also, with Punk, you actually get to see a headliner every two shops, or every two rounds, which is pretty good. I'm most likely playing Caitlyn in some form here. Alright, fuck it. Give me an Aphelios headliner. Make this really easy for me. Aphelios. Okay, what if I just hit an Aphelios? Alright, one roll just for Aphelios 3. I'm down. Wait, I have like a billion sentinels. Okay, I keep my streak. And then just take this, you're getting sold next round. I have a, an incredible sentinel build. I don't have the items for Ari, but like, I can play Caitlyn, Aphelios, Sentinel. I, I'm down to get a random 3-star Aphelios that's not my headliner. Because like at this point, isn't the game kind of like giving it to me? I'm sure Caitlyn 2 with Sentinels and then Aphelios 3 is decent. Normally I play Senna, but since the game's handing it to me, I even have a remover so I can move the items when I hit a Caitlyn 2. Um. Actually, I'm like pretty rich. What if I just went eight and took the first headliner and then just try to keep my streak? It's like a classic box box move where like there's a high chance I throw the game, but isn't it kind of sick? Am I tripping? Isn't this kind of a sick play? I'm gonna do it. I'm sure in one roll I'll hit something crazy. Oh, that is actually very crazy. I'm down. Okay, I don't have a Last Whisper, so... I am down for even Shroud Poppy. I know it's kind of weird. Um, we'll play this for now. Three Mosher. It's not not today. Could be tons of stats. I don't know how Jeweled Lotus... I feel like it's... I feel like tons of stats is better than Jeweled Lotus here. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Yeah, I actually, actually had no idea which one was stronger. I'm sure this is good enough for now. I'm gonna reforge this tier for direction. Love. I mean, it's always going on you. Actually... Wait, I just... It, it's, it's actually not always going on him. What if it was, um, Steadfast Hurt? Oh, well, I got Remover. If 
But I'm down to just ride this Poppy for a long time. I can sell Lilia. I think we're just gonna go nine off this. It's crazy. Like even if I start losing, I get Heart Seal. I feel like Poppy is just the best headliner in the game. Also, I'm stacking up uh, eight bit. Sheesh. Um, should I just sell this Echo? I could either sell Cassante to set up for like a better board later. Oh wait, no, you're never selling the Cassante. He's Heart Seal. It's either sell Mort or sell Echo. I think I'd rather sell. I think I'd rather sell Echo because um, Mordekaiser is Pentakill, which lines up with Yorick, which lines up with Poppy. Whereas Echo is a true damage Sentinel, which lines up with like Kiana, which lines up with Senna, which lines up with uh, Ari, because he's a Spellweaver. Sell the extra Philiosis. Hell no! I'm I'm going to Philios three. You ain't loyal. How can you call yourself a loyal man if you won't hold on to seven of Philios's for 12 rounds, waiting for that eighth one? Caitlyn on Carousel with a spat. Oh no, dude. Somebody's gonna take that and they're going to force Caitlyn. Okay, well, I know what I want. Oh wait, I actually don't know what I want. What do I want? Wait, does nobody want the Caitlyn on Carousel with a spat? Wait. No! No! Okay, I don't need a Lost Whisper, but I can maybe make a, a different item later. Is this better? I don't think it is. Yeah, I can't play a cane in my current setup. I don't even. I, I, I haven't moved my positioning all game. Like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. My streak! Actually, it's fine. I get hard steel. You did well, Poppy. You took us a lot further than I thought you'd take us. Uh. Oh. Blood money. I, I forgot I had that augment. Holy shit. I've been waiting for so long. Alright, what do you got for me? Good money. It's really crazy how strong just like a random Poppy with no synergies does. Especially on multi-talent, because she creates both her own synergies. <laughs> That's so funny. She creates her own synergies, man. What a chad. Okay, I'm definitely not winning this fight. This is a very strong Ari. That's the Ari I was trying to get last game. It took me 90 gold. It looks like this, it took this guy a lot of gold, too, because he's level 80 gold. Hello, Mr. Bear. Thanks for the 60 months. All right, guys. Listen, the moment Aphelios shows up, you type Pog, he's here, Pog. Okay? We've been waiting for this man to come home for so long. I've definitely threw, thrown away a lot of money for it. But I... I believe he's coming home. Any second now. Oh, it's a, it's the other two cost rapid fire. Okay, I mean, real talk isn't, um... Isn't four rapid fire kind of playable here with... Even Shroud? I guess you'd have to hit Caitlyn Headliner, though. But I actually feel like it'd be kind of decent. So, Caitlyn Headliner... Sucks because you have to sell these two. But Caitlyn Headliner, then you play Senna, eventually, um... Lucian. Okay, well, I'm definitely item moving. Okay, so... Put these two on Caitlyn. I don't need a Last Whisper, and I don't need Red Buff. It's probably Guard Breaker of these remaining items. I think I like Guard Breaker. And then what do we have left? Uh, I'm down for a TG on the Philios 3. Oh, that leaves you with some pretty awkward items, though. Oh, actually. Yes. For my Aphelios 3! Yes! Hodge Gwynsus for Aphelios 3! Come on. Guys, come on. Let him cook. I promise he'll be useful. I almost won. That's insane. Alright. Like 
All right, here we go. I... I actually don't think it's correct. I would love to take it and try for a Caitlyn 3, but I'm pretty poor. If I take it, I lose a very large percentage of my front line. The only, like, reasonable way to play this would be to sell the Poppy and my Caitlyn, then play this Caitlyn for four, you know what I mean? And then... I, I don't think it's correct. I already spent so much time building this Caitlyn. I'm pretty sure you, uh, it feels really bad, but you gotta roll past it. I was also thinking about playing two Caitlyn's, but I also don't believe that's good. You'd be three 8-bit, three rapid fire. I'm pretty sure you actually just go for the three star. I'm also like about to get a heart steal cash out. Is it possible that I'm being too greedy for this Aphelios 3? Is it possible that I held on to this Aphelios for a little bit too long? No! I'm sure I'll be rewarded! He loves me! He loves me! He's coming home! I promise! Pretty sure it's Guard Breaker if you have Jeweled Lotus. Don't worry, I'll feel this. We're gonna make you big and strong here. Okay. Aphelios! Don't worry! I... I know you're on the way! Any second now! Any second now! Guys, he's gonna come home exactly when we need him. When the world needs him the most, and he will save us all. How much do I value Pentakill? Because I could drop Bruiser for Pentakill. I think I'm down. Whoa! I'm not loyal! I'm not loyal! A gin headliner? I... Uh... I don't have a mana item, otherwise this Jin would actually be would actually be good. Wait. Okay. Real talk. What if I lock it? And then see if I get a mana item. <laughs> Wait, I'm actually down. I'm down to lock it for two rounds. Cause like I'm basically done shopping, right? This is the end of the game. Well, I guess I could still go for a Lowie too. But if I get a mana item, I sell my poppy for it, and it's pretty good frontline backline balance. Maybe like a little skew towards the backline, but right now I'm a little bit too skewed towards the frontline. And then Jin 2 is more value than poppy 2. But only if I get a mana item. Maybe even MF is playable after that. All right. Let's see it. Oh, no mana item. Okay, so we, we let it, we skip it then. Um, probably three item your Yorick. What's the best Yorick item here? Is it Titans? I feel like it's Steadfast. I don't think it's Edge of Night. Hmm. I feel like it's Steadfast. 
All right. I am the light bringer. I'm definitely not dropping this Caitlyn. I've stacked up 8 bit the entire game. Yeah, guard breaker also goes well with, or uh, what is it called? Steadfast heart goes well with my um, my jeweled lotus as well. Wow, I'm actually so strong. Here you go, Thresh. What if I did this? Is that worth it? How much is this? 12% um, bonus health, 8% bonus damage. Versus just a really good frontliner. It's hard to say. Just like Alawi is like the best splash unit in the game. Okay, I will admit she's kind of not doing anything right now. I right, mean, she knew she wasn't needed. Okay, this guy. I'm pretty sure I beat this guy earlier. All right, I'm just gonna roll down for Alawi too. <laughs> no. We are not one soul. We are many. If I was losing, I would go for the uh, Thresh 3 there. But I'm pretty sure my board's stronger. I think I just roll for the Alawi too. Because I believe my board is better. Oh, actually, wait, hang on. Talk shit, get hit. My, my unit just died. Wait, hang on. I've got a tentacle. I've got a tentacle. It's a tentacle gap. Oh, no. Okay, calm down. Calm down. You can win this. Get a third item for Lucian. True damage. Oh, no. If he gets that true, I can't stop him from getting it. Oh, he thought I needed that for some reason. He thought I needed that and didn't take the true damage spat. Okay, I'm just doing this in case my uh, my even shroud dies. Okay, well, since I lost that round, I'm down to now do this, but I'm down to do it for a very specific reason. It's because I can do this. And uh, use the um, user as bait for the Akali. I noticed that my uh, Caitlyn got sniped and that's why I lost. So let's do this. MF is bait. I guess you could have done that with the Alawi tentacles as well, but I feel like this makes more sense. I also positioned a little bit better this time. I think I win. Yeah, okay. Okay, that has to be better. So I'll, I'll use tentacles as bait at the last second here. So first things first, don't let your Poppy or York die early. Like this probably. There we go. So Akali is gonna go to this bottom right tentacle and then this left tentacle over here. And then hopefully my Thresh gets a big stun. I'm keeping all my priority targets alive. Or oh, my priority units alive. Even Shroud stays alive. York stays alive. Casts a bunch of times. Lucian and Caitlyn are protected.
Cool. I would say for getting griefed on the last round of stage two, not holding a streak while playing hard steel, not bad. I would also say the game winning play was holding on to Aphelios three. As you saw, I stubbornly held on to the seven Aphelioses and one dupe the entire game, and I got first. All right, well, I got my, uh, I got the title of king back. I demoted all the way down to sir for a little bit, but I'm, I'm king now. And I have great news, I'm running for presidency. I'm not sure if I'll get voted for, but we'll find out in uh, two games.